There is a showdown brewing over immigration reform in the U.S. Republican leaders of the House of Representatives plan to challenge President Obama's executive order on the issue. But House members and aides tell CNN they'll try and delay that challenge to avoid a government shutdown next week. Dana Bash has details. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson came to Capitol Hill knowing he'd be in for a scolding. The president's unilateral actions to bypass Congress, undermine the Constitution, and threaten our democracy. Republicans raked him over the coals for the president's executive action, allowing some five million undocumented immigrants to stay in the U.S. legally. He's acting in a capacity beyond where he has the ability to do so. Sir, I respectfully disagree. On what basis? They're, they're present, they're lawfully present in this. Lawfully. Despite their outrage, Republicans decided today not to take the immigration fight so far that it risks a government shutdown. Frankly, we have limited uh, options and limited abilities uh, to deal with it directly. That's because the Republicans' sharpest weapon is the power of the purse, cutting funding. But if the GOP goes down that road, it would risk a shutdown, since the government runs out of money next week, December 11th. Everybody wants to know if there's going to be a government shutdown. I don't think anyone has any intention of wanting the government to shut down. That's not even a topic I think we're going to discuss at this point. I don't think that that's an issue that we even want to address. And we're not going to take that bait. Why is it bait? Well, I mean, I think that's been the president's uh, biggest bully pulpit is trying to scare the American public into thinking that we're going to shut down the government. So the leading GOP plan is to fund most of the government through next year, but only extend funding for Homeland Security, which oversees immigration for a few months to buy time. It's going to be difficult uh, to take meaningful action uh, as long as uh, uh, we've got Democrat control in the Senate. But powerful conservative groups are impatient and unhappy, one accusing GOP leaders of writing a, quote, blank check for amnesty. What do you say to conservative groups who think this is caving? Well, I don't think you're caving when you're trying to restrict the actions of the president who has been unconstitutional. I think you're taking every initiative that is possible uh, at this point. House Republicans will hold a vote this week on a bill that says the president violated the Constitution by using his executive authority to change immigration policy. But since Democrats, who still run the Senate, have no intention of bringing that up, the vote will largely be symbolic. Way to mollify frustrated conservatives. It's an open question whether that will be enough. Dana Bash, CNN, Washington.